Now, the next chord is kind of tough, but I think you can do it. What we're going to do is we're only going to use our first finger on the first fret, and we're going to have to move it to the second string. So you've got to be really careful. When you find the first finger on the first fret, most people go right to the first string. And that's, that is a chord, but that's a different chord. We don't want to do that one yet. We want to hop that finger over to string two. So not string one, but string two. And then you have to stand it up really tall so that it's not touching string three or string one. It's only pressing string two. So this is what it sounds like if it touches string three. That's not good. And this is what string one sounds like if, it's, uh, if this finger's leaning on it. That's not good. So you can test it by holding string two by itself with your first finger on the first fret and play string three and then string one. And they should sound very clear. And then you can add string two and it sounds like that. And then you can play the chord all three together. That is a partial C chord. So remember the letter C. And if you were to take your hand away, it sort of looks like the letter C. Like that sort of. There you go. Now, still hamburger hand, it's just a funny shaped hamburger. But that is how you play the C chord. Let's do that again. So first finger on the first fret on string two, and then listen to each string. String three, that should sound clear. String two is the one you're holding. And then string one should sound clear. So try not to listen, or try to listen for this sound. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear clear string. Now all three together, that is a C chord. Now if you're having trouble seeing what my hand is doing exactly here, I've got a close-up video for you right after this. You can go watch that and see really close what that C chord looks like. Now we're going to add a finger, and we're going to try and play this uh, partial chord that comes next, which we call A minor. So what we do is we leave the C chord down and we take our second finger and put it on the second fret of string three. And so now string three sounds like this. String two sounds just like it did in the C chord. And then string one is still open. All together they sound like this. That is a partial A minor chord. Now our first chord was an E minor, the next chord was a G, third finger, third fret, the next chord was a C, first finger, first fret, second string, then we just added the second fret on string three to the C chord and made it an A minor chord. Now for our final chord, we're going to have our third finger play the second fret on string one. And those three strings should sound like this. String three on fret two, string two on fret one, and then string one on fret two. And then to make that chord uh, complete, we play string four open. Just add string four, just go one, two, three, four, and play all four strings. They should each sound like this, four, three, play all those together and that is a D7 chord. So I know these chords have some funny names but we will talk about what these names mean later on as we uh, learn how to put some things together.